In this video, I am going to show you how to develop and deploy an algorithm with Scilab and Scilab Cloud API. I am going to take the example of a thermodynamic script that selects a file and extracts out of this file this dataset um, the thermodynamic characteristics of aluminium in this case, specific heat, enthalpy, entropy. I developed this algorithm in Scilab and now I am going to deploy it with Scilab Cloud API. In order to do so, I start by uploading here my <coughs> algorithm as an archive. I can choose it and I have already uploaded it here. So basically here I can select one of the uh, versions that I've uploaded already and select the algorithm, uh, the functions that I want to expose uh, here there's two functions, the first one is called symbol and it's, uh, it's uh, selecting out of the data set uh, um, thermodynamic uh, species and some is then uh, computing the functions for specific heat, um, enthalpy and entropy. After doing so, what I want to do is leverage this algorithm in an application and to do so, I developed three versions of uh, integration of this web service. The first one is directly in Scilab. I developed a small Scilab graphical user interface, uh, basically calling uh, this web service. And here I first need to connect with my account. registering, it's giving me an ID and here returning from the first function uh, the different uh, species and here I selected only the entropy that I can plot this way. In this first example of a desktop client for my API or also called web service, I uh, leveraged Scilab Cloud to represent locally uh, the entropy. The second example is leveraging um, now this web service in a web page. Here I'm writing it with um, JavaScript and basically the different uh, path that I want to um, here trigger. The first one symbol and afterwards, uh, afterwards I am going to display the thermal entities in a graphic. So here is the result. Once again, I am going to register to the API. It's giving me here a return on my ID. The first function here is calling the list of entities from the function symbol and the second one here um, when I click on it is basically showing displaying well the results of the computation so this was the third example the second example and now the third example uh, is basically leveraging um, the same API, the same web service from Google Spreadsheet. Here what I did is I added here um, an external module, complementary module to um, Scilab Cloud API to, to Google Spreadsheet for um, Scilab Cloud API here as you can see. You can simply search it and here once you've installed it, 
you can register here in the settings. And once you've done so, well, basically, uh, here what it does, and I represented it with graphics also, is computing here, calling this uh, first function, um, and here afterwards, based on that, is gonna compute here the second function. So I'm returning these results.